one. A couple of weeks ago, I took my 2018 Volvo XC90 for a scheduled maintenance and the dealer told me I needed to get my uh, rear brake pads done. Uh, I asked him over the phone how much it was and he told me $375. Uh, I asked him, is it just the pads or rotors included? He said, nope, just the pads. So I said, no, thank you. Uh, and what I did was I uh, purchased the pads online for about 75 bucks and I decided to do it myself. And today I'm gonna to show you how to easily do it and not to be afraid of that electronic parking brake. It's actually super easy. And these are the parts needed for the job. Obviously you're gonna need your brake pad, some sort of a brake grease, uh, something to remove the wheels. Uh, you're gonna need a screwdriver, uh, a wrench, and I'll more on that later. Uh, you're gonna need a, a 5 16th millimeter as well as a seven millimeter uh, Allen wrench uh, with an extension if you can. Uh, you're gonna need a set of uh, pliers, uh, and obviously something to protect your hands. You should also make sure your parking brake doesn't automatically apply uh, and you have to do it from the car. So you start the car, go into your settings, go into my car, parking brake, and make sure this box is not selected. And obviously this job cannot be done with a jack as well as uh, some sort of a stand uh, to back up that jack. Then first thing you do in the engine bay, you pop off these plastics here and loosen up the brake reservoir cap. Uh, that will allow you to back up the piston uh, a little easier. And to jack up the car, you need to locate the jacking point. Uh, in the back of the car, you see that little line on the rocker? If you go below the line, you see right there? This is your jacking point. Then you take a 19 millimeter socket and remove the wheel. And what I like to do is I like to back up my jack. Uh, in this case, uh, there are not that many places I can put the jack under. I can put it under the rear subframe, uh, but, but since it's, this is an easy job, I'm gonna put it under the rear suspension just to give it a, a bit of a backup in case my jack fails. So this is the rear caliper and to remove it, you have to undo these two seven millimeter bolts here and here. But before you do that, you have to remove the parking brake and the parking brake is that big thing in the back and it is held by these two Allen bolts, this one and, and this one in the back. You have to trust me that it's in there. It's kind of hard to show it on camera. And to get us started, let's remove the electronics. So you grab a screwdriver and you pry this plastic up. That'll allow you to slide the electronic connections out. There we go. Uh, you unscrew this ABS wire, move this aside. And then as you can see, this parking brake uh, has these clips. So the back cover needs to be undone so you can easily access the bolts. See, so the back end comes out and you kind of want to slide it away from the brake. Next, you grab your 5 16th and you undo this Allen bolt. This is what it looks like. And then there's another one right across from it, right here on the inside. And to get to this one, it's better to use an extension. And again, this is what it looks like. Next, we're gonna separate the parking brake and you simply just push it outwards and it should slide out. It's much easier to do it with both hands, but since I'm holding the camera, I'll have to do it with one. There you go. You can take it out. This is what it looks like, and you can set it aside. Next, before you take the caliper off, I find it that it's easier to tighten the electronic brake. So what you do is you take a 3-8 wrench, and you just tighten it clockwise until you cannot tighten it anymore. Next is you grab a screwdriver and remove the caps that are blocking the access to these bolts behind the caliper. That's probably the easiest step. And now using your nine millimeter Allen key, you can get in there and start undoing the calipers. This one's loose. This one's loose as well. Okay, the calipers are loose. Our next thing is we're gonna remove this uh, spring holding the brake pad. So you just simply take a screwdriver, yank it out. This is what it looks like. Next, the 
caliper should simply slide out. So you just slide it out and everything comes right out. One important thing to know that the pads that are on the inner side have a little spring on top, whereas the ones that are on the outer side do not. So don't get them mixed up. We can hang it up over here now. Next step is we're gonna squeeze the pistons and no need for a fancy piston squeezer. All you need is a set of pliers and just push it in. There we go, see? It goes right in, very easy. Next we grab our pads and if you notice, one pad has this backing, the other pad has this backing that needs to be exposed. So you take this layer off and no need to put any schmear on it. Same thing uh, with this one. The only place when you want to put the lubricant is these areas here uh, where the pad is sliding on the caliper. And these are the areas I'm talking about. There's this guy. And there's this guy. And the same thing obviously on the inside. Next you simply take the pad and put it on the caliper. Same thing with the other one. Again, grab it and put it on the caliper. And now we take the caliper. Since we squeezed it in, it should be fairly easy to put it over the new pads. So let's see. You see how easy it is? And again, I'm doing everything one-handed. Uh, so it's on. Next thing is we tighten these bolts here. This one, as well as the one down below. So again, just tighten it. Next, you take the parking brake motor and you put it back just the way it was. You snap it in place. Just like that. And of course, tighten it using these Allen bolts. And don't forget about the one that's on the other side. When everything is nice and tight, you put the cover back on. It simply just clips onto itself, put the ABS line back on, and reattach all the electronics. And the very last step is reattaching this spring. All right, so let's inspect what we've done. As you can see, everything is put back together. Ah, this is what I forgot. Look at these, these caps that go in the back of the caliper bolts. Perfect. Uh, but other than that, everything is looking good. These pads have plenty of life left, uh, or all the life left in them, and uh, they'll give me a, a lot of peace of mind. In case you're wondering, these are the old pads that I replaced. Uh, they have very little life left. Uh, they do have a couple of thousand miles left on them, uh, but I just didn't feel like doing my pads during the winter. And these should last me uh, another maybe 25, 30,000 miles, hopefully. Then on the inside, we can close the cap and put all the plastics back together. And the last thing is you have to be in the car. You start the car. And you pump the brakes a couple of times until the brake pedal feels nice and firm. So it does feel nice and firm. I like to give it a bit of gas. Feels nice and firm. And then what you do is you apply the parking brake a couple of times. So the next step is going out for a test drive and bedding the brakes. I'll be doing a couple of stops from 40 to 10, 5. Uh, that'll really uh, bed them in. And, uh, and other than that, this is it. As you can see, this was a very easy job. Uh, there's no way for you to, uh, to pay $375. I saved myself $300 by doing it myself. And if you are semi-handy, so could you. Don't be afraid of that electronic parking brake because it's super easy and uh, and it's not uh, confusing at all. But let me know what you thought of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.